Anyone at home? Hello, B. There's only me. Ink has gone off to get some more pictures for the second book. Oh, dear. Does that mean more sounds to learn? Of course. I'm not sure I can remember the ones we've already done. Not like Snake. Don't worry, B. It's always harder for some than others, but it will come. Just keep doing the actions in the book to remind you of the sounds the letters make. Oh, yes. I forgot. And make sure you feel how to write the letters by following the arrows in the grooves. Oh, yes. I like doing that. Good. Soon you'll find practice makes perfect. And look, I've made a freeze to help you. Oh, I feel better already. What are the new sounds, then? Here they are. K, E, H, R, M, and D. K is funny. It has two letters. Well spotted, B. They both say K. Like the castanets of this Spanish lady dancing. Oh, I'd love to do that. Well, that's the action for the K sound. This K is called caterpillar K or curly K. To write it, you start at the top, go down, and stop. Remember how we wrote a? It started the same. They are both members of the caterpillar K family. The other letter with the sound of K is kicking K. Look at it kicking. It's a tall letter, so you have to start higher up. All the way down, bounce a little way, make a little hoop, then put the kicking leg on with a joining tail. I know Inky's trying to get a picture of a kitten for the kicking K. Oh, I'd better go and find her then. She might need my help. Bzzz. Are you all right, Inky? Just about. That cat spotted me taking a picture of her kittens and thought I'd make a nice meal for them. Mm. You're all hot and huffing. I know, I know. Oh. Oh. oh, you could take a picture of me for the huss sound for our next book. Right. But... How do I click it? Can I help? Oh, B. Just in time. <laughs> Shh. Everybody. What's that sound? It seems to be coming from over there. Duh. Duh. A duh. Yes, we do. It's one of the last sounds of the book. Hmm. Oh. Oh, look, a round box. No, Snake. It's a drum. Just right for our duh picture. Who's making a duh, duh drum? Hmm? Oh, look, up there. It's a squirrel having a meal. All the bits of shell are falling down. Onto, Onto the, the drum! drum. Onto, Onto the, the drum! drum. <laughs> <laughs> mm. He's having a meal. It's making me hungry. Well, before we can go back, there's one last sound to get. We need something with an E eh in it. Can you think of anything? What about the eh in egg? I've got some eggs at home. Eh, eh, eh. It's like banging an egg to crack it open. <laughs> Hang on. I know where there are lots of eggs round here. Snake? Where are you going? Snake! Ooh, 
Get ready to take a picture. Thank you, Snake. Put that back! Put that back, Snake! That's a bird's egg! How's the bird going to have any chicks if you eat up all her eggs? Don't worry, Snake. I've got something at home for you as a reward for stopping that cat from making a meal of me. Mmm, oh. that was good. Thank you for my reward, Inky. Don't mention it. Ah, right. That's the last picture we needed. Meal has the sound mmm in it. Well done, all of you. Now, let's take a look at what you found. First of all... Mmm, goody! Another meal! Can we start again? Snake! <laughs> now, rub your tummy for the action when you see the mmm. Start at, at the, the top. top. Down and bounce back over and over again. And don't forget the joining tail, the letter mmm. Now, who can read this word? Um, sound it out then. What's the first sound? Don't you remember when I was in a hurry? Oh, yes. You were all hot and huffing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> Good. And this is how you write <gasps> Let me guess. Start right at the top. Then down, bounce back up and over again. And don't, don't forget, forget the joining tails. <laughs> Very good. Let's try that word again. Uh, uh, t hat. Got it. Ah, now B's turn. P I N P I N I N I P I N P I N I P I N I P I N I Oh dear, I'm saying it quickly, but I can't hear a word. Try again. But this time, say the first p loudly, then whisper the rest. P in n. P in n. No, I can't hear the word. Oh, B, p it n. Pin. Oh. I'll never learn to read. Oh, of course you will. It's just that some of us have to practice more than others. Now, here's another picture. <gasps> a a dog. dog! Right. Now, if you were a dog with a rag in your mouth, what sound would you make? <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, Inky. Uh, did, did I make you jump? Yes, you did. I've had enough frights for today, and that dog was one of them. Sorry, Inky. But a growl is just like the sound of r. So how do you write r? Start at the top, down, bounce up and over, just a little, the letter r. Can you hear the r in the words drips and drops? Drips and drops? There aren't any r's there. Oh, yes, there are. They're just not at the beginning. Drips and drops. Oh. oh. Don't worry. You'll soon learn the sounds. Oh, no. What's that? Oh, I see. Did you have to bring that drum back with you? Well, you know I like drums. That's clever, Snake. You've noticed our next sound. The next sound? Oh, of course. Drum has the d-d-d sound. Stop! I just wanted you to pretend to bang the drum for the action, not really do it. That was d-d-d-deafening. Oh. Oh, sorry, Inky. 
How do you write D? Start at the top? No, start in the middle. Back up and round and up to where you started. Hey, just look at that. D starts just like A. Eh. It must be another caterpillar. Very good, Snake. That's just what it is. But D goes on up, stops at the top and back down to the bottom. And... Don't, don't forget, forget the, the joining tail! <laughs> and now for something else that Snake likes. Imagine tapping it on the side of the pan. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, eh for egg. egg. Yummy, yummy. And this is how you write eh. The letter eh is a bit like an egg. You go along and then over the top and round. The letter eh. Oh, goody, a bit like an egg. I'm going to enjoy writing eh. Right. Now. That's all the letters and pictures Phonic needs to make our second book. But before we make it, Phonic, can we do some more blending words for B? Her biggest problem seems to be hearing words when she puts the sounds together. Of course. There, B. Try this word. P, E, N. P, E, N. P, E, N. Uh, listen, listen. P N. Pen. Well done. A N T. A N T. Ant. I did it. I did it. Very good, B. Now I must get book two made. Why don't you go and see what Snake is doing? Goody. There are the letters D, R, and E. I want to make the word red. R, R. Oh, here's the first letter. R. How, how do you know which sound you want next? Oh, you use your ears, of course. I didn't know you had ears, Snake. Of course I have. You just can't see them, that's all. So, R, E. D. When you want to make a word, first you listen for each sound. R, E, D. Oh, yes. I never thought about it before. Three taps. R, E, D. Red. I want a word too. Why not try hen? That starts with a... H. <laughs> yes. H first. Then... Hold on. How many sounds in hen? Two. You're guessing, aren't you, B? Tap them out. H, E, N. Three taps means three sounds. H, E, N. Hen. And if you put an A uh in front of the two words, we get a... Uh, Red. Hen! A red hen! That's wonderful, we've made a red hen! Aren't you clever? Well, everyone, book two is now ready. And a special little book for you called Red Hen. Cool, Red Hen! Red Hen! Red hen. Red hen. Red hen.